all right? So uh, I, I pick a side, all right? And the first position I'm gonna get to is inside control. First thing we're gonna do is, you know, he, he reaches for me and my hands go on the inside of his and I'm just gonna make crooks right here on the, uh, or grips on the inside of his elbow right here. So my elbows are bent on the inside of his. Now, whichever side my, uh, my knee is bent down, that's the side I'm, I'm taking my partner to. So I'm gonna bring my head to that other shoulder. All right, and that way I'm not, I'm not pulling him onto me like so, okay? So my head goes to the other shoulder. From here, I am pulling his elbow down. And uh, what I don't want him to be able to do is lock his hands around my body, all right? So when I'm here, my elbows are down. And all I do is make my dip and elevate. The goal here is to, uh, to get my partner's head close to the ground. All right, the closer my partner's head gets to the ground, the less I've actually got to do in the rest of the sweep. Okay, so I mean, this is like a eight part series, but uh, off the butterfly. So we'll just work the first piece. Obviously, if I'm, if I'm here, I'm going to the other side. So my head comes to this side to the best of my ability. I pull myself in, so a little bit of a, a bicep pull and a leg pull. And then I tilt my body, elevate, and then, uh, you know, typically retract my foot, come back to a knee on belly or a, or a scarf hold position, like so. Okay? So, one more time, however you were, I'm seated up, I get a grip, two grips, pull myself in, get my head position right, and then I, you know, we'll get into this again later, but I, I, I want a deep elbow and I'm curling this in, and I'm back into my knee on belly. Okay, five, one, three, one, two, three. So, uh, when I sit up, I want inside positioning, right? But he figures that out after a while you're sweeping him, right? And he doesn't, he doesn't allow you to just get inside positioning, right? Yeah, you just, he just, he keeps pummeling, he blocks your hands. So um, we started off with good grips to here, all right? The next one we're gonna move to is one hand here and one hand here, okay? But how we're gonna get there is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fake like I'm gonna do an arm drag or, or grab this wrist here, all right? So I know I can't just get in inside control like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt like I'm arm dragging. So he reacts by pulling the arm back and then I scoop myself in and get the, uh, the bicep control, all right? So number one, I was trying to get inside. I, I get resistant, his elbows are a little bit closer. So I'm coming around the corner, but he pulls this one back and then I'm back in. Now right away when I'm back in, look, this hand goes here, this hand goes here. Oh, and I'm sweeping. Okay, other side. So I can't get, I can't get inside control. So I go two on one, he pulls that back. And then, then I get access, deep access to the neck. From here, pull. Now this is another, another part. He's gonna be vying for uh, trying to get around my back, all right? Put me flat on my back, do that body lock and, and smash me down, okay? So what I can't do is just let him, in this battle right here, pummel under and lock, lock hands. So I, at least I, I need a hand fight here if I don't get this grip initially. So one, you know, hand fight. To, and recognize where he wants to put his hands behind my back and whatnot. All right. So as, if he breaks grips, boom, then then I, I battle to get inside. If he goes to lock hands around my waist, boom, I still sweep. I'm still in a good position to, to finish the sweep. Okay. I, I don't want him to to lock his hands and then he pulls my hips in and then now. You gotta have a, a real good butterfly sweep to get his hips up right here, okay? But I get to inside control, I know he wants the body lock, all right? So initially, you know, maybe we're in wrist control, maybe we're here, but if he, if he goes, brings his arm, like this is, this is gonna be coming eventually. As it, as it comes close, look, my elbow is like connecting to my hip slowly. As he locks his hands and starts to get down there, but boom, I'm tilting. Okay, so it's like eventually he's probably gonna get there, but I don't, my, my arm doesn't slip out like this where he can post like that, okay? 
the whole time. You know, started here. Well, as he locks his hands down, boom, look, it's, it's, it's tight to me. Push his head to the mat and tip him over. Okay? Five, one, three, one, two, three. I, go, so I, I can't get inside position again. I go one, two. My partner pushes on my shoulder, right? And, and pulls his arm back, like so, okay? So if I get the arm drag, great. You know, I take his back. But typically what happens, he goes, he goes there. Now look, I'm gonna come back in on this side and then I'm gonna sweep, okay? So, so just another access to that collar tie. I go one, two, he pushes the shoulder and rotates. Boom, as he pushes, I'm back here and pulling the elbow in and I'm right away to my sweep, okay? One more time on the other side. I'm trying to, this way, he pushes, boom. Five on three, one, two, three. Oh. This time I'm unable to get inside control, double biceps. He makes double biceps on me, all right? So uh, I'm forced to settle here. What I am gonna do now is pull him to me and reverse shrimp. And from here, I'm gonna elevate my partner up in the air like this. Now from here, as we come forwards, I'm gonna extend my legs forwards and I'm gonna go double unders, okay? So now I've got inside control. So originally I wanted here or here, but I'm just not getting it, all right? So he's got good inside position. So I'm gonna grab the elbows, pull myself forwards, elevate the hips, and now I can get my hands underneath his body. Clasp my hands together. Now I go forward shift, all right? Now from here, head position, I keep the underhook, and I'm gonna go with the elbow chop, and then I'm gonna sweep. Okay. So I want inside control. I can't get it. I grab behind the triceps, pull myself forward, elevate his hips up in the air. My hands release. They go under. Double unders. Forward shift, like so. Head position. Elbow chop. John literally did this, like this. All right. <laughs> chop the elbow, grab it. From here. All right. Five, one, three, one, two, three. Just, uh, so on your back and butterfly. So if he picks a side, yeah, pick a uh, butterfly bar. Pick a side. Yeah. So if he if he picks that side, like. I'm, he's gonna sweep me that way, right? So, so uh, a good defensive move for my part would be to just pick up my leg on this side while we're engaging, because I know that's the only way he can do it. If he switches his feet, well then I, I know he, right, now he can sweep, easily sweep me that way. So I'm gonna just put my base out on that side, okay? So just do that for me, okay, man? So, you know, here, so uh, I can sweep you this way, so you post this leg, all right? So. Uh, it was, it's not complicated. It was just a uh, it was just a simple ankle pick. You know, if I if I went here and the guy uh, uh, posts his leg, yeah, boom. But here and I'm come up, uh, I'm just shoving the shoulder or the hip over. If he comes back into me, then we can enter in for uh, for leg locks too. All right. But uh, the first premise of it was like, all right, he picks up that leg. I go here, he picks up the leg. Boom, and I'm here, and I'm driving them forwards, either passing uh, over or under, or if he if he drove into me, you know, then I'm coming back with uh, with leg locks as well. Okay, so uh, just practice both sides, uh, but but we do so that that was a pretty simple one. This time he he uh, he stands on both legs. All right, so I, I, I choose butterfly. He stands on both legs. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go inside ties. I'm gonna pull my partner to me. And then I'm gonna do my reverse shrimp, pull myself in. And I'm gonna go two feet on the inside of his feet as I push either his shoulders or his hips, like so. So, you know, I sit up for butterfly. He stands, I'm here, pull, and I push. And from here, I'm holding one leg, I'm either passing, or if he get, he's getting up before I can pass, then I'm 
then I'm going to be sitting to my leg right block. Alright, so if I'm here and he picks up the leg, then I drop home, then I get an ankle pick or a leg lock, or if I'm, I'm here and he stands on both, then I'm pulling and then pushing and then I'm coming up or into, into here too. A little cheap ones, right? But like an answer to like, I try sweeping this way, he ain't, it's gonna be tougher when he, when he posts that leg right away, right? All right, clap one, three, one, two, three.